Build index the hard way. Have fun with hard way. It's time to play some music. It's your damn big challenge. Hey, what's up, you average toddlers, and welcome to the Deck Build Challenge, where each week two combatants face off with strange theme decks. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe. Joining me today, returning co-host, Duke Freeman. Hello there, you wonderful people. And, and I believe this is your second episode in a row, which was not my intention. I try not to do that, but I'm on kind of a tight schedule, unfortunately. So, so you're here again. I hope you guys enjoy well. Duke. And then joining him, we've got a brand new co-host. You may know him from the comments. I certainly do. He goes by the name Meta Kaios. G'day, all. Um, also known as Mike here, if you're on Patreon, on the Patreon Discord. But... Yes, he has. He's one of those people that has several names. And and today we are playing uh, level two or lower normal monsters, which seems oddly specific. But there's a lot of uh, support that that it like only affects level 2 or lower normal monsters, like Law of the Normal and Human Wave Tactics, and uh, there's there's some other ones. I'm sure we'll be seeing them there. Whenever you guys Basically are... all of the cards that have Ujama Yellow on the art. Yeah, pretty much. Whenever you guys are ready, we'll just go ahead and jump on in here, and I got the sleeves correct. That's good. That's a good thing. From there, it's, it's pretty much all I mean, all you almost downhill. didn't have to go back for them. And I'll have to see. I think Duke is in the red here, but we'll have to see. We'll wait until someone moves, and I'll double okay, check. So I'm going first. Um, someone's going first, man. Nope. The so setting. Was, so that was yeah. Metakios is in the blue, and Duke is in the red. <coughs> and I'll have to apologize. There'll probably be some coughs. I'm not feeling all too well, unfortunately. But the show must go on. I'm on a time crunch. I got to get this done. It's just, it's just what happens sometimes. What is this? Fire Reaper. Oh. I remember this guy from Forbidden Memories. A Reaper with flaming arrow that burn. Wait, with flaming arrow that burns an enemy to a crisp. Oh no, not vanilla. This guy has such pretty gone. ears and a sweet tooth. He's on a quest for the world's sweetest carrot, guys. I'm not sure if you were aware. He hasn't Ooh. looked behind him. There's all these heart-shaped carrots. We've got Enchanted Fitting Room, which is what I... That's another one of those ones. That's got Ojamas. And it looks like you're summoning Oppressed People and DD Trainer. Are, are we going to see a huge revolution by mm -hmm. the end of this? <laughs> we could. That's or not... we could see a rank 1 XEs. That's also so, possible. I think they only go to... Um, I think that set goes to a uh, level 3, doesn't it? I don't think you'd be able to use that. I don't know. I forget. I'm sure someone in the comments knows. But, uh, I mean, either way, Oppressed People is level 1 with 2,000 defense, so it's not too bad. And we got Flame Vulgar, and I should notice that, or mention that specifically, like, the, the main deck was going to be mostly level 2 or lower normal monsters, but you could use an extra deck. And you could have, like, I think one or two non- or non-normal monsters. You could have one of those yeah. effect monsters. Oh, hey, it's you can Lionheart. Have a, you must have a minimum of 15 normal monsters in your deck. And not too many effect monsters. Yeah. Because it's not fair. Which is it's weird, because this was basically... um, What was it? Duke made a deck, made this deck, or something similar to this deck, for another deck build challenge. We were having a tournament, which I don't want to mention, because that's going to come out in a week or two. Uh, yeah. Probably like three weeks or whatever, given my, my turnaround. But you made it for another tournament, and it was like a really cool deck, but it didn't quite fit the, the requirements for the tournament. But everyone seemed to think it was really neat, so I'm like, well, let's just make a deck build challenge around that. We'll use the level 2 or normals. Yeah, so I feel like you have a little bit, little bit of an advantage, Duke. I mean, I, mean, I, also, had, I also had a deck that was rather fitting for it, that I had to edit it a bit to be suitable for a mirror match. Oh, okay. So it's not completely... Yeah, like I said... Because I think I, like I talked I said, I to you, Kaios, like... All of... Oop, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. I basically just went to Ojama Yellow's trivia page and looked up everything that appears. In... <laughs> the Ojama Yellow deck. Is Ojama Yellow in this deck? Um, no, he isn't, actually. <laughs> so all the I, cards with uh, him on I it, but not him. Yeah. 
because I focus, focused on level ones and he's level two. Ah, a sad mm. state of affairs to be certain. Yeah, you could just still attack into your defense position. He's got yeah. the heart of a lion. But yeah, was well, how how many days did I give you for this, Kaios? Like two days or three days? It was a pretty time crunching thing. Yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah. So I was like, I hope he can come up with something that can hold his own against Duke, who had like a week and a half to work on his, but... So far, it looks like you're winning pretty pretty standardly. I wasn't expecting that Lionheart. <laughs> yeah, no, was I until I made it. <laughs> um, I mean, I wasn't well, really expecting you to have a monster with 2700 attack, either. Well, in that case... Jet Synchro. That's yeah. a non-normal monster, but it is level two or lower, so I guess that counts. Don't you put any put out I mean, everyone knows the only level three synchro monster is um that bird. Oh. Miss yeah. Bird close loss. <laughs> yeah. This is yeah. I'm now I'm gonna lose because I misread. <laughs> As per usual. Hmm. I'm not surprised. What did what did you think was gonna happen? Yeah, I, I, I thought it was going to happen. You didn't know that, uh... I think a lot of yeah. people assume that Lionheart has to detach in order to inflict damage. Yeah. But no, that's, that's just his regular uh... effect. You just detach to do extra damage. <laughs> oh well. Mm -hmm. Things I happen. Of 700, so what else can I do? You gotta make sure you end it now. All his spell traps are going to be useless. And that's what you could have done, is activated all your spell traps so that you didn't have any as high of attack with mage power. Uh, I can only activate one of them, and I don't want to waste it. That's uh, you're going to be dead. Well, yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. no better time. Don't think I can finish it this time. Not oh. quite. But soon. No one expects the Lionheart. That's pretty much how you make uh, Dust Towns work, in my experience. Hmm. Can I make the 700 life point comeback of the century? Maybe. Anything's like possible, man. I mean, I did have one encounter with this deck, where my opponent was about to finish me off, and I said, may I have one more chance, please? And I managed to completely destroy him. <laughs> the, f the following two turns. Destroyed all the things. Every single one of them. I'm trying uh, to remember. I had a, a battle recently. I forget what I was playing. But, like, I was I had a whole bunch of, like... Well, now you've got more spell traps on there. You're just going <laughs> to die even faster. <laughs> and I nothing know. is going to get destroyed. Not with that supply squad. Well, Indeed. But yeah, I had a deck with a whole bunch of, like, battle traps, like mirror forces and stuff. And this guy just got out a Utopia of the Lightning and attacked a whole bunch. And oh. I was like, this is oh, a nice I, uh... Utopia of the Lightning deck. Like, it's a good thing you I, have yeah, that. I... <laughs> well, go yeah, ahead. it's kind of how I... I didn't really mean this to be Lionheart the deck, but <laughs> it seems to have worked. The real you just question happen to is... have three monsters available. It happens. Do do you have um what am I call it? Do you do you have a side deck? Ah no. uh, yeah. I don't. <laughs> I completely forgot to get a side deck. You just didn't plan. You got too cocky. Yep. I I did. So we'll go. So Metal Kaios will will side if he has anything to side. We'll see if this turns out to be another Lionheart victory. Then we can just be like, okay, we'll take out Lionheart and try this again without that. But I think that was just that was just the luck of the draw. Indeed. I mean, who knows? It's hard to say. We didn't see too much of the decks, but that's okay. That's where we play mm. matches of three. But yeah, the back back well, to my. Sure what I, can take out. <laughs> I think this is revenge for me trumping over Chili. I think this is revenge. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, it Chili, wasn't, Chili that, seems that to have that bad nice. luck. Uh. I will go first, if you do not mind. Certainly. And then you can attack before he has a chance to do anything. 
<laughs> Poor set of card. This is how these decks are going to run most of the time. Unless you get, like, some sort of amazing hand. Also, you're both playing more than 40 cards. Yeah. <laughs> Why? I was, I'm the guy was... that uses a lot of one-ofs. <laughs> you can't yeah. decide on the cards he wants in his deck, so he just puts all of them in. Discount yeah. one of warehouse. This is my spicy tech. Catoville Omen. Oh boy. Interesting. It's like the I'm... slowest card in the history of anything. But it's one of the best trap searchers. It's like you gotta set it, and then once it flips, you can set something on top of your deck, and then next turn you can draw it, and then the next turn after that you can activate it because it's a trap. Indeed. It's like four turns. And four my turns. other tech... Man, I thought you had hmm. like one non-normal monster in here, but I've seen three? almost exclusively non-normal no. monsters. No, I only have two Jet Synchron, two Cat of... Oh wait, no. One Jet Synchron, two Cat of Illumin, and two Plague Spreader. Everything else is normal. Ah, uh, sure. Hmm. We'll see about that. If, <laughs> if, if, if we get a summon of a Zodiac... I only have two Zodiac. effect monsters in here, and they're both... I only have two effect monsters in here, and they're both different. <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh -huh. effect, uh, apparently, effect monsters are the are the uh, the weakness in this deck. By playing normal monsters, you've made yourself that much more powerful. <sighs> oh, spicy human wave tech! I got to mine first. Because <laughs> he didn't wait on a cat to summon it for him. Shh, we don't talk about that. Moki Moki support. That's uh. What's we need his more Moki Moki support. Yeah, rank ten. I think he did a, a an ask ask me anything, or what are those called again? Uh, AMA. Yeah, he did an AMA on Reddit, and someone was like, "What what card would you like to see support for?" And he's like, "Moki Moki." They set up for like this this whole thing mm -hmm. based around it, and then they never did anything with it. Yeah. It's I, right. I, I, it, has, I really agree. it has synergy with with dustons and all sorts of things. It, it really, it's it's a really good deck idea. I fully support like anyone who wants Moki Moki support. <laughs> good. I'm right, on your that's all for now. Yeah, I mean, what's he gonna do? He's just gonna. He could destroy it, but you're just gonna get another one. No, that is not good. Usually, because it sets up tri white plays, and <laughs> I do not want those. <laughs> Those are not fun. <laughs> Try White's a pretty cool card. It is. I don't know. I, I almost feel like a like a rank one normal spam with Twi White could be really good in the uh, the Link era, where it's just about getting any kind of monster on the field, regardless of type or attribute and stuff. Yeah, and that's what I was thinking when I was testing this deck. It's like, oh, you can special summon a a very large number of monsters. Why not just use it for Link? Hey, it's my secret tech. Sword and Ooh. shield with the OCG artwork. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> You're a madman. <laughs> oh, it only gets madder. Triangle power. Excuse me. Four thousand DD trade. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you gonna be doing that? I'm too sick for that. <laughs> Who would have the row of 6,000 DD trainers? I mean, um, nobody expects the DD trainer. I'm trying to figure out whether to be confused or amazed. <laughs> a little bit of column A, a little Why bit not of column both? B. Hmm. I mean, at least well, you, you had the, that has store. If, if it had been anything else... You would yeah, have I would have been <laughs> OTK'd. Yeah. It would be nice. It would have been triangle power OTK. Double oh, triangle yeah, power. Oh yeah, they all get destroyed though. Yeah. Sadness. Unless unless you make them yeah, yeah you could do that as well. But you could just do that in the main phase too. <sighs> I'm sad. And make a fucking Lyra Lusk. Man, hmm. I have to, I, I may have to look into this for a what a deck. This might be something I could do. <laughs> I never thought about that, you triangle I I'm probably gonna wait. Clown Zombie. It's the best one. Yeah, it's the highest attack of level 2 monsters, isn't it? 
Okay, um, I am not going to let you destroy me, hopefully, because I have this. Crumble Logos, the prophet of demolition. Oh, please, you can activate your effect if you wish. It won't do you any good. I mean, it'll do him good this turn. I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I'm pretty Too sure, bad. I'm pretty sure it's one of those lingering effects where you can't be destroyed or take damage this turn. Um. So it at least stalls him for a turn. Yeah, possibly. I don't know. Hard to say. Hard to leg. Especially with Crumble Logos, he's got four legs. He's like a centaur with a book. I don't trust that. Not since Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, it still doesn't get destroyed? Oh, yeah. that's a shame. Oh right, it's because it's a, it's a continuous. Effect. It's like an activated effect. I think it's too strong. Yeah. Well, it's still negated. So. Yep. And while we're here looking at Makembe Matumbo on top of a Lira Lusk, I want to go ahead and give a big old Harleg Patreon shout out to one of our newest patrons, a man who goes by the name Lord Crota, or just Crota. It, it's on the screen. He told me to just call him Crota, but is but. I think Lord Crota's more appropriate because he's, like, one of the biggest donators in the entire channel right now. I'm not hey, sure... thanks, Lord Crota. Yeah. He, he's also been on the, uh, the, the Discord. He, like, showed up almost immediately and was very friendly. And everyone seems to enjoy him. So, shout out to him. He's a cool guy. He is helping fund the channel more than, like, half the other patrons combined. <laughs> <laughs> But it's okay, because every little bit helps, and you guys help too. I mean, yeah, you guys are there too, you just don't get, you don't get shout-outs, but you get to be on, on the, the show, and that's almost as good, right? Sure, oh. let's say it is. Oh, you can negate his human oh. wave tactics with your centaur book. And now I can try one. Like... Yeah, right, no. He's trying to white. That's just and like, that, that's straight up like a, uh, whatchamacallit? Actually, the Wandering Doom is literally trying to white. It's the recolor of Skull Servant, aka white. Yeah. He's Skull Servant, but with an extra star. Haha. Uh -huh. You will never trick me again, Vanilla. Did you really need to waste your 4500 on his face down? I mean, I'm pretty sure Crumble Logos can get over everything. And then these little- oh, okay. I thought you attacked no. the clown zombie. No, no, no. Blast. Excuse me. I noticed you have a lot of zombies in here. Is there a reason for that that I haven't seen yet? No. S there isn't. As far <laughs> as you know. Oh, we're just gonna leave them out there. So if you get another monster with triangle power, you win, pretty much. Oh, now he's got <laughs> Oh, it's the return of the DD trainers. They've come oh, back is... from a different dimension. Well, I believe that is game. Yeah. <laughs> and Vanilla. That is extra game. <laughs> vanilla strong stands strong. Now, will he go for the Lionheart, or can he make crime and punishment? Oh, you can do both. Those are, both are pretty fun. Yeah, they're both pretty much the same thing. I don't know why mm. they went so redundant with their card effects on the level one, the rank one Ixie monsters. There's not enough good rank one Ixies monsters. That's well, the problem. So, well, maybe he's maybe he's planning something else, something different. I could be wrong. No. We could see Doolahan. Oh. Wait, do you only have one? Of them, one lion heart. Uh, he or did you? Oh, wait, no, he didn't even... uh, that was last time. Oh, he didn't even play last it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. He's just yeah. trying not to have it removed for the third duel. <laughs> so he can snatch victory at that <laughs> point. I'll be like, I can win without it. I do not appreciate you doing this. Yeah, Although, but... actually, I just have uh, something a bit different in mind. Oh. Okay. Oh, jeez. I see. Oh, I see how this is. Number F zero. See, you were on the the the, the Discord, Duke, and you were showing mm -hmm. these uh final fields where you had like built these like giant synchro <laughs> monsters and stuff. 
But here he is making these giant Ixy monsters and stealing your monsters and doing doing interesting things. I made that the board I sent, I made that turn twelve. <laughs> Two more turns just, and you would have had it. I was just I was just trying to well, you know, get some scare tactics going, but <laughs> I'm See, that, that's the thing. You scared. You made it yourself have such a threat. Indeed, you have miscalculated because it calculates my monsters and not yours. Ha ha. Now. But now, what do you do? Turn I everything into defense and hide. That's what I would do. See, so, yeah. anyone would do this, but I am insane, so. Or something with three level twos. I'm pretty sure there's some pretty sweet three level two monsters. No, I'm. <laughs> I just realized um, F zero can't be destroyed by. I mean, it can be destroyed by card effects, but it can detach a material. You have to do it three times. Which I'm is not ready for three many. times. I just gotta hope he doesn't play like optic camouflage armor and level down. Oh god. No. Then you can steal your clown zombie, lower its level, equip it with optic camouflage, and attack directly. Interesting yeah. interestingly enough, um when I was playtesting this, um I found out that if you use a uh, level tuning or something similar to reduce the level of say clown zombie, then equip uh, optic camouflage armor to it and play something like triangle power. If you do that, its level goes back up by two, back up to two. The optic camouflage is destroyed, but it doesn't get destroyed by triangle power. Hmm. Interesting. And, it, and, the, and the boost it gets, it's permanent. Ah. Which is Where's... really interesting. I, See, you I know, didn't I'm, I'm, I'm looking down, and I realize I have a, a starving Venom sitting here, and now I'm thinking, like, if there's some way you could put Venom counters on your own monsters to make them level 1 and then abuse triangle power. You could do that. Yeah, probably. You fool, Kaios. <laughs> now he's going to draw both. and search. It's the worst of all worlds. And you don't know, I have two human wave <laughs> tactics. Now I get to special uh -huh. summon monsters. So now are we going to see some sort of giant <sighs> fuck-off behemoth monster? Yes. Yes, we are. And it's right on, right on turn, oh, turn 13 it's gonna be. That's unlucky. So. I knew I was going to screw something up. It had to be since I was on camera. I mean, to be fair, we all know you could have won. You just chose to do something more interesting. Which I'm sure the mm -hmm. people at home appreciate. They don't like it when uh, it's a yeah, one-sided Yeah, let's stomp. go with that. <laughs> or did you take out Lionheart after the first duel? No, I was just saying I could have, uh, once I took his clown zombie when all his weak stuff was in attack position, I could have attacked one of them, but just wanted to get rid of that crumble logos. <laughs> you gotta make sure that you get your human wave tactics. Okay, so we've got Coral Dragon, so three turns from now, if you keep, if you discard Ooh. a card every turn, F-Zero will be gone. Oh, you just got all the tuners. What does this Indeed. flavor text say? Your hopes and dreams will be refreshed if you catch a glimpse of this rare creature in the evening twilight, soaring in the sea of stars. Drink Pepsi. I will do this, because I feel lucky. Fucking what? <laughs> Localized tornado. Okay, then. How does that help you? That, that, that just makes twilight more difficult. Twilight... <laughs> Do you have two of those so you could shuffle your localized tornado back? Yes. <laughs> also, it doesn't necessarily have to be by a monster effect or anything. I can just do this. And then you can you can make a... Ah, and then its effect is negated. <gasps> yes. <laughs> you didn't realize that. <laughs> No, no, no! I drew a spell and trap, spell a trap card. Oh, okay. Crazy. I mean, you could have used 
coral dragon to destroy him. Now that his effects negated. Or I guess you could do that too, whatever, man. I still don't get to draw a card by Supply Squad. I am disappointed. Combos all over the place. And equip cards. Unnecessary equip cards. <coughs> Wowee. Wowee. I mean, it still doesn't beat three 6,000 level 1 monsters, but it's pretty neat. I'll give you, I'll give it three stars. Three stars <laughs> out of 17. Ooh, but I mean, to be fair, no question. nothing really goes over seven stars, so... I have mm. a weird rating system. Anyway, we'll be back at the third duel to see who actually wins the win of, of the win. I'm going to take a drink. And we're back. We're back in the fighting. Oh, you said it before I could say it. You've got the reflexes of a quick goat. Which is pretty fast, I must say, if you've ever encountered a quick goat in real life. I have never encountered a quick goat. They're pretty quick. What does it look like? Like a regular goat. It's oh. Got fur. Four legs. Horns. Mildly satanic. <coughs> Ooh. Can we get one thing? At least one thing on the board? There's one. There's one. That's not. Oh. They got two. Wandering dude and skull servant? You madman. Double well, skeletons. Too spooky for me. Canonically, they're actually brothers. Are they? Yep. It has I mean, been confirmed by Mr. Skull, skull servant himself. I mean, just because they're both skeletons doesn't mean they're brothers. That seems well, kind of racist. You racist <laughs> against skeletons? I, I would have... I would have figured them for a sort of Sonic and Shadow type configuration. Yeah. Skull Seven says. Uh, let's see. I forget what what was it the other day? Like I was imagining playing... them with that uh, cutscene in Green Forest. <laughs> that was I a... think you're the fake skeleton around here. <laughs> I was playing someone who was doing Black Wings. Um, yeah. I played like best of three, and every time I started with Twin Twisters. <laughs> and I, I kept getting hitting their Black Sonic. And they're like, what, you don't like Black Sonic? I'm like, eh, I prefer it when they call him by his real name, Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> That's also one of my favorite old memes when you show a picture of Luigi and you're like, my favorite video game character is Green Mario. <laughs> he saves the princess and doesn't afraid of anything. Doesn't afraid of anything. Yeah, you have to use that exact thing. Or uh, the same thing that, that I think the original one was. They'd show a picture of uh, Master Chief, and they'd be like, "My favorite video game character is Halo. <laughs> he fights the aliens and doesn't afraid of anything." <laughs> oh no, he charcoal the Impachi. I love the Impachi cards. They're so cool. I have made an Impachi deck. Actually. And I'd say this one's rather hard. Haha, uh -huh. I get no, it. No, that would be that would be the other in Pachi, the, the flame, burning in the Pachi. burning in Pachi. That would be yeah, pretty. This one's hot. still a fire attribute. This sure. one is just smoking hot. <coughs> he should be ash attribute. <laughs> he should be charcoal attribute. Yeah. Just saying. The attributes on Yu-Gi-Oh cards are really kind of weird. At this point in the game, it's like you could tell when they started out, they were kind of going for like a Magic the Gathering kind of theme where they had the six attributes and each one kind of like played the same. Like fire <sighs> monsters generally did burn damage and water monsters generally changed battle position and stuff. Mm. And then they just kind of yeah. like got rid of all that. Now it's just sort of something cards have to have that doesn't really play any importance in anything. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, except for Invoke, they kind of require different attributes, but yeah. then again, it's not really like how it used to be. Dust Bar- what is this? Unaffected by your opponent's spell cards. I, I don't have any spell cards that could destroy you, so that really does nothing. But they could make him affected, they could affect him in weird ways. <laughs> Equip mage power to his own, to his monster? <laughs> well, all right. What do I have then? 
You had you had really good luck the first couple duels, but now your more than forty card deck is working against you. <laughs> How dare you say such a thing to me? <laughs> How dare you say these things? After oh great ah oh. oh, fantastic, oh, the connection was lost. Well, rip connection. I'm going to assume that that wasn't you just unplugging your Ethernet cord to try to avoid a loss, and we'll go <laughs> to the third real duel. For real this time. And we're okay. back. We're back and fighting is going to be going going again. That last time something happened, something weird, something magical. The Yu-Gi-Oh gods were not impressed by the dueling going on and they wanted things to be better. Kaios on, on I'm sorry to have failed you, Yu-Gi-Oh gods. Yep. The giant space chicken is very upset. Um, oh yes. hey, it's his favorite clown. This is a good. This is a good play. <laughs> <laughs> I play I mean, zombie clown and set a card. Your turn. I surrender immediately. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. Too to be spooky. honest, that that would be a valid scenario if we were in like 2000 or something, like back when in old Yu-Gi-Oh, oh, where yeah. all the normal monsters were less than a thousand attack. <laughs> Even then, Cloud and Zombie wasn't all that great. Yeah. Sadly. I just remember I watched this thing about, like, early, early Yu-Gi-Oh! Where they were like, mm. Mechanical Chaser was once, like, a $50 card because it had 1850 attack, which was the highest attack of any level 4 monster. Huh. And so almost every deck ran, every competitive deck ran a play set of Mechanical Chasers. And it was like, it... Mm -hmm. I forget, it was like a Shonen Jump exclusive or something, so it was, like, difficult to find. Hmm. I'm just like, I can't imagine getting into a game where it was just like, oh yeah, the best card is the one with the biggest attack. Caveman yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh. And I've also, I've also watched a Kamina Cat's video explaining, like, his Yu-Gi-Oh story and everything. And he, and he didn't enjoy, like, the old Yugi and Kaiba structure decks where you just have normal monsters and like a few spells and traps where the game was really slow. Oh, and really? I think that's the I think that's what old Yugi would be like. It would be really slow and nobody will like it. One second, just... I'm kind of marveling at the fact that the League of Uniform nomenclature just got played. And then triangle power. <sighs> and then Delta oh. Attacker. They can attack your <laughs> Has anyone ever even seen that card before, or what? I've seen Delta Attacker before, I... but I just never thought it would be useful. <laughs> I've seen it, and the moment you, I saw you play it... <coughs> the real question... Wow. Well, I guess you can Ixy summon them anyway. I was hoping you'd play another, like, level 1 monster, and then you'd go, like, Formula Synchron into, like, Mist Valley into something else. Oh, uh, that would be interesting. Or do you just play these yeah, tuners because so they have high really. defense? Yeah, mainly. I do have Mistbird Claws a list, but it's more of a fallback play. Yeah. Mm. I just like that when you get a bunch of tuners and then you just keep you just have like it's like a rank up but with synchros. It's like I make this um, two and then two goes into that's, three. Oh, that's the, that's clearly the, I can't that's clearly I can't be trusted thing. with uh, what I should summon. So, I'm just going to go with what won me the first one. <laughs> oh, sure. Go ahead. I'm definitely not considering just ignoring you for the rest of my life. <laughs> definitely. That's fine. I won't ignore him. He'll have people to talk to. I'm pretty sure Crota in the... the oh, yeah, he has Crumble logos. I should remember that Crumble from last logos. time. Crumbles your logos. Yep. Or something Unless like that. This is like Solemn Strike. <laughs> what, are you going to play Magic Cylinder now? Please, please play Magical Cylinder. Or Magic Cylinder, rather. Or, or not. No. Okay. I am sad. I did not see a Magic Cylinder. I am disappointed. Oh, I actually drew three of my clown zombies. Huh. You say that as if you're surprised, like, long after your draw. I didn't even notice in the first place. <laughs> <I didn't... laughs> oh, hey. Hmm. I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh. When did this happen? 
Oh, well. Oh, hey, I'm on a DVC. When did this happen? This is like your fifth one, I For think. real, though. Was, this was is there like actually my... a, a reason for all of them being zombies? No. He played a uh, Book of Life. Shh! I saw it earlier when he did the Enchanted no. Fitting Room. Don't say that. I mean, we're probably gonna die, or the duel's probably gonna be over before- oh. Oh. Okay. I don't mind. Here you go. Well, I mean, that mage power would've probably been useful unless you drew something better than it. Yep, yeah, there is something better than it. It's called United We Stand. Well... Doesn't that just rumple my stilt skin? Okay, now you can mm -hmm. activate Magic Cylinder. Go ahead. What was your set card? Mm -hmm. Human Wave Tactics? <laughs> no, it was not a League of Nomenclature. <laughs> uh, well, my set cards were this. Human Wave mm -hmm. Tactics, number one, and number two, and Jar of Avarice in the middle. Just in case. Uh, I'm a little sad I didn't get to show my extra secret sp spicy tech, but... What, um, I, what was your goes. extra secret spicy tech? Uh, over capacity. It's, Ooh. uh, when the opponent special summons a monster, I can banish all level 2 or lower monsters on the field. <laughs> yep. That is a very good card, actually. Especially in this, this mirror match. But, I mean, you did some cool things. Yeah. I mean, how often are you ever going to see fucking, like, triangle power almost OTK someone? <laughs> Just insanity. That, that. That's, that's what I was hoping. Although I'm sad that neither of you got Law of the Normal off. Uh, yeah, I was hoping for that. I didn't. Oh, did it. you play Law of the Normal too? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Oh yeah, that's because that would, I would have that, That's on. what this deck was originally based around. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. So yours was yours was more. In fact, I have one in my hand. His, his yeah. you just put all the different win conditions in there. <laughs> yeah, basically. It worked pretty good though. You just couldn't. He got the clown zombie. He was min maxing. So, you, you guys will have to comment in the comments what you thought of this duel. I thought it was pretty neat. I, I like uh, interesting things like this. Maybe we'll have to do a Moki Moki Smackdown sometime in the future here. Um, Duke, did you have any final words you wanted to give? Um, play Tolkien. All the time. Every time. Alright. Good luck with that in mm -hmm. links. And uh, <laughs> Metakaios, any final words on your first DBC? Um... I think I was better at commenting. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, shots fired. So, there, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, good luck. And have, have fun. fun. Yeah. <laughs>